I'm on a board. I'm trying to tell you that this is the reason we need to get together and I'll work this thing out. Listen, I always want what is best for you, okay? And that girl is certainly not what is best for you. Don't you get it? Mom, let's deal with this issue the way it is. Okay. She is my fiance. <laughs> I'll need you to begin to appreciate that. Please, bro. <laughs> not bad girl. Look at her. She's not for you. I don't remember bringing you into this conversation. Okay? Oh, she is invited because she's part of this family. Now, anything that concerns you concerns the rest of the family. Thank you, Mom. Mom, let's work this thing out. Say for argument's sake, you want to do something good for me. You will bring someone that brings me joy, right? Yes. Well, I'm telling you, Nina brings me a lot of joy. What kind of joy? Have you looked at her family background? The family she comes from stinks. Do you know the whole family was wiped out within, within a short while? Her mother was so wicked to her husband. Everybody from Mobu community knows about them. And you're here telling me you want to marry her. No, we're not marrying her history. We're marrying the girl. And besides, I, I expect you to be a little bit more enlightened. I am enlightened, my dear. But you need to know the truth. You need to know the truth. I don't want you bringing that thing into this household, period. Well, I don't know. You guys need me more choice. Because as it were, I have no choice. The truth of the matter is that it is my life. It is me that is going to live this life. And Nena is my life. Oh, yeah? Yes. I see. That is what's going on. You're talking to mom like that because of that thing downstairs? It's okay. Excuse me. Mom, we need to work this out. And I don't remember inviting you to this situation, okay? So just stay out of it. Stay the hell out of it. What do you want to do? What do you want to say now? She's fine. She's gone to bed after crying the life out of me. Don't worry, babes. You're going to survive as long as she doesn't make you sick again. I'm sick already. No, you're not. You just want to dodge work. Hmm. There's no such thing as being sick. And that reminds me. I'm going to talk to mom to get you off your sick leave and put you back to work. Okay? Won't I raise some dust? I mean, I'm very comfortable where I am without anybody hounding me. I don't need more pressure. No, come on. Stop looking at the picture like that, okay? Mom is not there to hound you. And stop thinking everything that happens in this house is your fault. It's not. I know what you're trying to do. You tolerate my family because you love me. And on the other hand, I'm not stupid. I want to do this as far as I can. Consolidate uh, what we can get from here and then build a better future for ourselves when we leave here. When we leave, we leave this house? Yes. Why are we leaving? I mean, this is your house, your inheritance. Look, honey, I don't want your mom to say I finally succeeded in breaking her family like she predicted. Oh, come on. I've told you the best way to live this life of ours is to remove my mother from the picture. Okay? The picture I see is me, you, my darling wife, and my beautiful daughter, Sochim. That's all I see. I just want to build a better future for us. But you have to trust me. Okay, my love. Hey, where's that famous man? Stop that. Come on. Weigh me down now. Okay. Right? Um, I, I didn't mean it like that, you know, because whenever you hold me like this, it um, it um, it does a way of disturbing walk. You understand what I mean? <laughs> because, uh, no, 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 no. I didn't say you should move your head. Just move your head. I said no! 
means negative, and that is disapproval. I disapprove of your wife working in OPR's establishment. She has done that once, and it can't happen again. Just please, just leave me alone, okay? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. I heard you the first time. What is it? Do you want to kill me with beating? Why didn't you wash the car? Oga ka yan kuri ai. Oga na je chai I go see somebody oga. Oga go wash her now. Look okay, what can you watch? You know what time it is? Why am I always going through this? Like I don't know what you do here with all the money. Listen, you know what? Just go. Go, okay. go away. Honey, why? Why did you refuse breakfast? Are you punishing your mother? You're punishing me. Are you going to go hungry because she says I'm not going to work in the opt-in? Is that it? I, I don't have appetite. I, I can't be in the same room with her right now, trust me. Why? You're not helping me. You're making it look as if I'm in this fight alone. Look, I can bear it if you can and I can take it if you can. Don't end up fighting me while thinking you're fighting for me. I, it's just that if I stay there, she's going to say something to you and then I will react and it will grieve things, you know? So please, let me go. Okay. Just put together a lunch pack or something and send to the office and send up to the driver. Okay. I love you. Just hug my angel when she wakes up. Well, she's going to say more things we ain't good, but just, just ignore her. like you're hungry. Um, why don't you give me a hand so that we can get this over and done with very fast and uh, just rush off and pick Sochima from school because it's almost time.
just for the water to dry. Please. Thank you. That holier than thou attitude. When I was leaving to pick Sochima from school, I begged you. I begged you to keep an eye on that food on the fire. <laughs> and you let it burn to coal. Hi, former. You're a woman just like me. And one day, you will be in a man's house. Is this how you're going to take care of your domestic chores? You actually believe I was listening to you? Ha! <laughs> what a laugh. financial constraints. As a result, we have to be more prudent. Prudent? Even with my financial request? With everybody's financial request. Now, let me tell you something. You told me what your request was all about. And after due consideration, I am of the opinion that it's not an important issue. Buying a Nenai car is not a priority. Mom? Yes, it is not. I mean, at this very moment, it is not. Priority. Well, I guess it's priority buying a former car. You just bought a car last month. A former is a former Dennis Obialo, a bona fide beneficiary of Dennis Obialo's uh, 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 dividends. No 
not some marriage fake who, who wants to, to come into this family and loot us through your stubbornness. Now, let me tell you something. That girl's mother is wicked. She killed her husband, destroyed her well, whole family. I know what you said, I don't want to hear it. I don't need the history lesson. Okay? I've been married to that lady for three years. Three years! It is more than enough time for you to get over your psychological malady for that woman and accept her as my wife. She is not your wife. As long as I'm concerned, that girl is not your wife. She is some concubine whom you brought into this household who has a, a, a fine chance to show for it. Mom, you're pushing this too far. Oh, no, not further than you've pushed me by bringing her into this family. Now, if you will excuse me, it's time to go. Because our former left the food on the fire to get burnt, you have to starve the whole family? Eh? Mommy, it's not as if I decided to starve the whole family, but you have to consider my own side of the story. I was the only one in the kitchen cooking, and I still had Sochima to go and pick from school. It was getting late. You know how all these things are. You're just lazy. You're just a lazy thing. Now, taking care of the house has become such a big deal that you need someone to help you, right? I don't blame you. You're so lazy you can't do anything. Oh, but of course, only connive with your mother to kill your father and your brother. Please take this girl out of here. What did you say? Let go of the girl! Your daughter indeed. Now let me tell you something. The day you went against my will and married my son was the day you stepped into her. And I will make it so hot for you. And you know what? Unfortunately, there's no going back. So, my dear, I will deal with you. Now get into that kitchen and prepare something for the family. Well, I'm not cooking anything again. I will not cook anything in this house today again. If you will kill me, kill me, but for me to enter that kitchen and make something for everybody to eat, it's not going to happen. Three years already, and you're begging for less killing. I will not kill you physically, my dear, but by the time I am done with you, you will be dead. Fry your life, idiot. Don't come down here and cook, and we'll see what I'll do to you. Ethel, in my own house, oh my god. <laughs>
joy in my life I wish I had a little peace in my home Every day and night There's always a fight I have nowhere to run I wonder what did I do To you, God doesn't uh, want you dead. He... Uh, 
You've been drinking. How did you get home? Company driver. Thank God for him. I'm sorry I drank, baby. It's okay. The pain was too much. It's all right. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine someday. Uh, hate is like a disease which has only one cure. What is it? Love. The only cure for hate is love. To love and keep loving and keep loving. That is what I owe those that hate me. I, I can't hold it against them because I see it as my destiny. Never to know peace and ever to be hated. Don't talk like that. You know I love you. I wish I had a little joy in my life. I wish I had a little peace in my home. Every day and night, there's always a fight. I have nowhere to run. I wonder what did I do wrong? Why is my life so unhappy? So Nice CV. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Obiello, how come your working experience never spanned into your field of studies? Deputy Director Marketing, isn't it? Yes, Doctor. <laughs> so what are you doing in the markets? <laughs> when you are supposed to be in the hospital helping our patients? Um. It was a family decision that I held for for a while until a professional in that field was employed to take over from me. So you're now ready to return to the hospital where you rightly belong? Yes, sir. Definitely. I see. Mrs. Obiello, we'll look into your application more ordinately. And by the time we'll arrive at a decision, we'll be courteous enough to inform you. Thank you very much, sir. It's all right. You're welcome. Thank you. You dare not, young man. Oh, yes, I dare, mother. This is my resignation letter. I quit. I'm tired of your nonsense. <laughs> You'll be shot out of Dennis Obila's fortunes. payment of Dumaker's quarterly allowance immediately. Yes. Thank you. Here. Yeah. 
Uh, let me talk to you later. All right, bye bye. Dooms the man. <laughs> Brother, you're welcome. Look at like GQ. I see the two of you these days. What's happening, man? Well, I've been busy here and there, you know. All right, all right, all right. So how's the family, both immediate and otherwise, you know? They're good. Thank all right, God. All right. Great. Needless asking about business, because you, you look... <laughs> well, let's just say that um, it is more than meets the eye. I need to talk to you, Tony, about something. All right. So what's cooking, man? I, um... I need a job. You need a job? Look, let me tell you, Jones. Let me tell you. Uh, there's nothing wrong with looking for a job. Do you understand what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that, you know, everything depends on your level of relationship with the person in question. You know, The I person in question is myself, Tony. Is you? Wait, 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 let me tell you. I, I still understand you. See, uh, if I'm asked, I think, you know, it would be better you allow her practice what she, you know, studied in school. You know, these days, I know, you know, you and I know that, it, you know, it pays a lot, you know. So it's better you let her practice the nursing stuff, you know. Well, let me put you in the clay, Tony. It is not my brother, nor my sister, or a friend, not even my wife that needs this job. I need this job, Tony. You? Yes, I want to come and work for you. <laughs> I'm lost. So am I at this point? Oh my god. I never cease to amaze me, man. Well, um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still. Jumaka, Jumaka, you did not have to go that far. What, what, were you out of your mind resigning from your father's company? Listen, under the circumstances, that was the best option. Okay? I know what I'm doing. The two most important women in my life are on a war path. I had to take sides for my sanity. You're talking as if you don't know what this is all about. It has nothing to do with your job. It's all about me. They hate me. Well, they hate me too. How can you explain them hating someone I love and saying they love me? It's a lie. Your mother and your sister have no reason to hate you. It's me they hate. So please, don't push yourself into that position. That way it will be milder. Well, I don't think so. Is that going to bring me the peace I want? It's not going to bring me peace. Listen, trust me, babe. I love you. I'm on your side, remember? I know. But you have to be one with your family. You can't detach from them. Resigning means you're detaching from them and that's why they're fighting you. They love you. I'm the one... Well, it's not as if they hate me, but it's just a, a misunderstanding of intent. Oh, please, shut up. Are you trying to patronize me now? Listen, I'm grown up. I know the vast difference between hate and misunderstanding. Misunderstanding is something you get over after three years of marriage with someone. You understand? Hatred is hatred. Well, maybe for them it's not enough. All I'm saying is that your resignation letter was out of place and you have to reverse it. It's too late, baby. I've taken that decision. It's final. I can't go back. You can go back and I'm going to help you do so. Listen, listen don't do anything rash. Don't! <laughs> I actually came here last night, but you had gone to bed. I was thinking if I could have a few words with you. Mm. Well, say what you want to say. As you can see, I'm praying. Okay. Um, I, I came to apologize. We're very sorry, especially for what my husband did at the office. Mostly the resignation letter. He didn't mean to do it. I'm very sorry, ma. 
We are very sorry, Ma. Um, besides, he's your son, and I'm sure you'll be able to sort out your differences. Oh, my God. You know, you make a wonderful actress. I am quite impressed. In the midst of all this trash that you've just littered, you've managed to exonerate yourself from it, all right? I look at you and I wonder. You know, you're trying to tell me now that you're not part of what happened? The resignation letter, the walking out of or on me at the office, all that crap, that you're not behind it, is that what you're trying to say? No, ma, you don't understand. Oh, please. I do understand you, my young girl. I read you loud and clear. Now, let me tell you something. Better get out of my room before I pounce on you. As you can see, I'm trying to pray. All right? So just get out of my room. Now! Leave, please! Where have you been? I want to speak with you. For what? About the resignation. I want to apologize to For her. For what? I told you to stay out of it. One way or the other, she's going to rope you in. We've been through this. It was wrong for you to have sent in a resignation letter to your company, your father's company. Listen, if this is a ploy to bring me back to Obdi, it's not going to work. It is over. You hear me? What do you mean by over? It's over? You know another thing you need to get used to? The fact that we're leaving here soon. We're leaving this week. What? You heard me. That is to say you don't want me alive. You want me dead. Do Makao Bialo, you and I and Sochima are not going anywhere. I, I can't leave this house. You know, there are days I truly don't understand you. You want to stay in this house and suffer all the psychological traumas and abuse they give you? We need to get out of this hell home. Don't you want to be liberated? I do, but... I, d I don't know if I can survive it. I... I don't know. How else will you survive it if you don't live here? I'll get a job. I applied for one, so I didn't tell you earlier. Applied for your job. Yes. It's a good thing. But it does not change the fact we are living here. No. I can't leave this place. I, I don't I don't want I don't want them to think I'm taking you away from here to kill you. To kill you the way my mother killed my father. I've told you to stop telling me that rubbish. Stop talking like that. Why, why do you do this to yourself? Come here. Come here. No, stop talking like that. It's stupid. Nobody's gonna kill anybody. Hear me? I thought I'd be able to make the deal, but it didn't work out. Oh, mind that silly man. Oh, no, it's okay. I for my spine. Yeah. Oh, please, yeah. Oh. I'll call you back, okay? Alright, bye. Um, there's, there's, there's something here that's not right. It's just not right at all. Um, this is my statement of account. Apparently, it does not reflect my quarterly. I see. Well, I gave the orders. You gave the orders? For what? You resigned, did you not? You did not complete the quarterly. Mother, I resigned two weeks before the quarterly. I have sweated. I've used my blood, I've put in my blood for Obdin. And you're telling me that you're not going to pay me a family man my quarterly because I resigned two weeks. Listen, mother, I want my money. Mother, I want my money! It's all your fault, okay? Look, I, I think you're, become, you're becoming a user here. You don't want me to put a call through to security, do you? What's this rubbish? Who are you shouting at? You, you want to call security for me? You, 
You want to call security for me? Yes. What do you expect? What do you expect, really? What did I do wrong? What did I do to you? What did I do to deserve this? What, 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 there's nothing, the only thing I see that I did wrong here was getting married. Just trying to give you a grandchild. I was just trying to be happy. What did my wife and I do to oh, you? Oh, that woman is bad news. Just because something happened in our family that brought us some bad luck, does not mean it's our responsibility. Oh, but she's still from the same family. And the same blood runs through her veins. Mother, you're wrong. You were wrong before. You're wrong now. Truthfully, what did my wife do to you? What did she do? I don't know. For three years, you casted me away as your son. Please. For three years, you scorned and rejected me as your son. For three years, you treated my wife with disdain, with no passion at all. For three years, my innocent child that knows nothing had to bear this. That child has to grow up with the hatred. So she knows nothing about homophobia. What would you want me to do? What would you have me do? Let me ask you. What would you have me do? Well, you need to stop doing what you're doing to us. I can't help it. Because I can just see you getting into danger. I can feel it. Okay? The, the premonition is, is there. It, 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 it's, it's strong. Um, I it, can feel it. It's not what you feel. Money does make you God. Stop playing God with other people's yeah, lives. I'm not trying to play God. Don't you understand? I, I, I'm not trying to play God. I'm just trying to stop you from, from being destroyed. That's what I'm trying to do. You're not trying to stop me from anything. I love her. I will love her till I die. That is what I vowed for. Listen, what, what, how would you feel if somebody treated you like this when you were married to dad? Well, I was not bad news. My wife is not bad news, mother. She would never be bad news. Dad loved you with everything he had. He could have given his life for you. That is love. Some conditional mother. I love that woman. I will give my life for that woman. Why are you fighting us? Why are you trying to make me so miserable? I love you, mother. This superstition is tearing us apart. I'm not asking you to do anything. I just want you to love my wife. Just love my wife, mother. What, what is the big deal? I love my wife. Enough! Okay. Why are you doing this? Why are you hurting me? I'm not hurting you! Why are you doing this to me, Mother? Please. I'm sorry. If I wronged you, I'm sorry. Just love my wife. She's my wife, Mother. No, she is my wife. No, she is my wife. Mother, no, no, she is my wife. She is my wife, Mother. I'm so tired of all this. Stop fighting me. Stop fighting me. <laughs> I had to, I even ate before serving Sochima's home and Afama's. Hmm? I'm telling you. Before my own job. <laughs> I was that hungry on it. I don't mind you eating before Afama. Afama can use a little diet. No? <laughs> no. Please give my phone to Shima. I'm very full. Oh, uh, I'm still so talking while eating, please. Hello. Yes, yeah, has home economics class. This is my house. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. May I join you? I can help myself. Um, let me check on such yes, oh, no, 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 no. a is quite fine. Um, Alpha Mach just gave her a bath and um she's okay. Sit down. Sit down. It's nice. Did you say something? No, I'm fine. It's okay, you can join us. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, well, I <laughs> I just came here to talk about family. 
talk about love. You know, when you're talking about family, it's like talking about love. One minute, you know, you think. Now, you guys are making me nervous. Dumaka, I think you're the one causing it. I don't like the way you're staring at me with those big eyes. Now, if you don't mind, can you excuse me? I want to talk to my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law, I would like to... You know, this reminds me of Dumaka as a child. He never liked meat. He would always eat everything around the meat, but he would leave his piece of meat. <laughs> I've never told you about him as a baby, have I? Eh? Come on, relax. Now I'll tell you about Dumaka. Dumaka was a cute little boy. You should see him in his diapers. <laughs> With his bum bum going this way, that way, this way. <laughs> I can't forget. You know when he took his first steps? Now guess Yes, honey. I was actually looking for you upstairs. Okay, I'll be with you soon, okay? Come in. I want to talk to my daughter in law. <laughs> All right. So, as I was saying, when Dumaka took his first steps, guess what his father bought for him? Come on, guess. No, you must guess. Wedding day. Mm. <laughs> Happy wedding day. What, what, what is that? This is the first day of my marriage. I mean, I feel like I'm now married to you. we can get to Marka to our side by showing his wife a little bit of love and you just have to do it with me. Show Dumaka's wife some love. Yes. Mom, that's for you. That's for you. You have to try, honey.
Um, you're on your way out, Abby. Let me quickly turn off the gas. Um, there's something on the fire. I want you to drop me off so I can pick Sochima from school, eh? please. Just one minute, eh? Thank you. a little explanation so we need to work together i know you're tired look at me i've been working on this all day mm, you could say that again okay ma'am. um now <clears throat> i'll keep it plain and simple okay okay so that i won't wear you out perhaps you can take this home and then study it later okay the company in contention is called Japital. okay they are the ones that we're having direct issues with and then the company we want to acquire is called durak now, I've sent you a list of um, their various um, business interests that I'm sure that is going to benefit us tremendously if we acquire the company. Now, Japital is already ahead of us by acquiring 40% of their capital shares, and um, they have 20, they just acquired 20 more. Okay. So, we've put a stock on things because my boys in the street, especially the ones in the stock market, are telling me that we can acquire the 60 in its entirety. Really? Plus, I have somebody sitting on the board of directors that's on my payroll. Oh. Yes, mom. Right. Yeah, I know this thing is possible, but the immediate hindrance that I'm having right now is from implementation and execution. The units you set up to contact our spending, mm -hmm. they are not releasing enough money. And for that reason, it's making this whole process retrogressive. So I need money at my beck and call to make this deal happen. That is what I need. You're okay. As soon as you sign that I have money at my beck and call, I'll seal this deal off. And I can guarantee you in the next two weeks you'll be sitting on the board of Durag. Oh. That's simple. Okay. Can I have a look at the file? All right. Pause. Just take it home, study, Mom. You need to relax to do this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if I think it's okay after studying it, then I'll send it to finance for implementation and disbursement. Okay? Okay, Mom, it has to be done fast, but just take it home. Yeah. It's, it's pretty complex. On one condition. Yeah. You have to be in charge of this project. No problem. Okay. No problem. It's uh, two weeks. That's all I need. You'll be okay. sitting on the board. Okay. Okay? All right. <sighs> and of course, tired. there's um, a small matter that requires your attention as well. It's a quick one. Mom. Just appendix your signature and we're good to go. Hmm? Okay. Anything for my son. <laughs> what? Come on, Dumaka. You don't mess up my business mindedness with, with, with this flimsy request. Man, buying my wife a car is not a flimsy request. She jumps taxes when she has to pick my child from school and so many other errands. And we can afford it. How much is it? It's here. It's less than one million. What's the big deal? You're not going to allow this girl to squander the family money, you know? Your money, my money, her money. What's all this distinction for? Isn't she a member of this family? Why are we so particular about this? Better be cautious of what you're doing. Do you understand me? Or else this girl is going to suck us dry. And give it to whom, this family fortune? The girl in question has no family. Who is she giving our vast wealth to? Whoever. I don't care. This topic is over. Hmm. 
Hmm. I should have known. Yes. <laughs> it's most typical of you, mother, isn't it? Yeah, don't look at me, I know. I mean, all that pretenses about the truth and all that. So just a way to bring me back into this office and pick my brains clean so that I'll end up walking and slaving again for Obden. Isn't that what this is all about? Oh. But you know what, mother? You didn't raise a fool. Watch what you say, young man. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. She's my wife, my responsibility. I'll take care of this matter. Oh, suit yourself. Very, very unbearable. Imagine the disgrace. Imagine the shame. Even in front of Abdul. Afama and Chukwemeka, my late brother, can only be age mates. So why will Afama be treating me with such contempt? See, I don't even know what to say anymore. You've taken much more than any human being can possibly take from my family, but I don't know what to say. But I'll tell you this, it's coming to an end. My family provided more than enough to care for small needs like a car and so many other things for us. But they're not doing it. But I know what to do. I just need you to trust me. Okay? Okay. It's okay. Let me go and get your food ready. I've never supported this union from the world go. They said, give her a chance, give her a trial. Give evil a trial and it's beginning to surface. Mom, let me ask you, where are all those our sick in the head uncles who supported this marriage in the first place? I'm where are they? My daughter, ask me. Just ask me. But do you know the one that kills me? That girl can pretend. Hey! At the slightest provocation, she recalls like a snail. When I look at her, the, 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 the hatred, the anger within me. But do you know the worst? She went behind my back to seek for employment. Economic empowerment. She wants to earn income so that she can come into this house and challenge my authority. Can you imagine? Oh! Mom, you're so oh. intelligent. You've not, you, you didn't think about it. Oh, <sighs> And of course, that just means you and I can kiss our relationship with Umeaka goodbye because she will make sure they move out, get a place that we will not know of. Now you are talking. Mom, do you know what that means? Now you are talking. I know exactly what it means. That girl will influence Umeaka to challenge my policies and authority in the company. Do you know that? And before you know it, the Obia Law's firm will be divided. Thank God forbid. Oh yes, God forbid. But you know what? I have the medicine for that girl. And I will deal with her. I will show her that I am Ethel Obialo. She doesn't she, even go scot-free. Let, let me tell you, this is only the beginning of the end. And there shall be no rest till the end of the beginning. This love truce is over. Because I'm out to deal with her. She will know who Ethel Obialo is. In this house. Oh, oh, oh. she's schema. Uh oh. She came to the wrong family, dear. Sorry, sir. I brought a file. Okay. All right. 
Well, I will say this is quite impressive. Very good work. I'm impressed. Okay. Thank you, sir. You know, sir, it's just for a time being. I'm standing in for Mr. Bello until he recovers fully. See you by next week. I understand all that. I understand Madam recommended you to fill in for Mr. Bill in his absence. I'm telling you I have the same confidence in Thank you, sir. You so let's just see as things unfold. Alright? However, um, the company is going through a major deployment and positioning very soon. And we hope we'll find you a more suitable place. So that would be really nice. Wouldn't it? Honestly, sir. I really look forward to to get in as an, a challenging opportunity in account department. All right then. Um, let events unfold first, and then we'll see how things take um, its toll. Hmm? Okay, sir. Have you raised the Durak project um, check yet? No, sir. Madam, say as soon as your unit demands for it. Well, my unit needs the money now. So, my dear, raise the check, bring it over so we can start work, okay? All right, sir. Uh, and uh, one more thing. I would prefer you raise the check in my name. Sir, please, Madam said we should not issue any company project checks to any individual names. That's what Madam said. I'm saying something different. Madam is the CEO MD of the company. I'm the executive director of this department. Which means with my signature, you can aspire to be anything you want to be in this company. So you run along and fix that check in my name. It's a question of do what I want, and I'll do what you want. Do we understand each other? Okay, sir. I want that check in the next 30 minutes. Is that clear? Okay, sir. I'm a director that opt in. And besides that, I have a trust fund. I can afford a car for my wife when I do free. So how come you didn't buy a car with this one? In good time, mother. All in good time. Anyway, here I have the weekly report of the company's activities. And I noticed that they've disbursed the money of a Jura project to you up front. But I don't see Anywhere it's stated that you bought the shares like we discussed. When we started this project, I told you that I would disburse the funds as I didn't fit. You said it was my baby, I could handle it yes. at my discretion, right? Yes. That's what I'm doing, disbursing the funds as I didn't fit. So where are the funds now? In my personal account. I beg your pardon? You can have my pardon all you want, Mother. I said the money is in my personal account. What is the money doing in your personal account? Now, if you're not ready to buy the shares, you return the money to the company's account. And I give you up to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning to return that money. Well, that might seem a little to pay Harris, Mother. Because the funds in question has been utilized in the purchase of a certain vehicle to service the need of a certain member of this family. So, when you write a check, mother, that check will cover the deficit that's supposed to be the balance for the Durac project that's presently lodged in my personal account, mother. Tumaka, what nonsense are you blabbing about? Hmm? Did, did you listen to yourself at all? Instead of to, 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 to look for how to sell the car and, and, and pay back the money into the company's account, you're here blabbing. Mom, I'm also a director in this company. Why does he always treat me like a kid? Mommy! Next time, please. Wait! Tumaka, don't even try it. Tumaka, don't even try it. Can't sit down there. What is the matter with you? Since when did you become 
for the stubborn. <clears throat> I can't believe this. And let me tell you something. This, your, 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 your attitude can cost you your job. And for your information, I am not ready for any emotional breakdown in my office anymore. <laughs> I echo your sentiments, mother. I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. You know what they say. You can beat them, you join them. Better tell her not to step into that car. Because that car belongs to Oberdin's company. Well, apparently, mother, you're oblivious of the fact that you're not in the run of things anymore. What? Well, let's start by this night to remind you. As much as I would love to sit down and chit chat with both of you, but owing to the fact you're both aimless this night, I would love to. Get up. I'm gonna be with my wife. You know, I have this little crank on <laughs> my lower back. I wanted to use a magic fingers to work it out. <laughs> oh my god, magic fingers. How else do you think we made a baby in less than two months? <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot. A former idea. Good night. You hear? You can sit your fat fanny down here and wait for someone to buy you a jeep. You go on shopping sprees and you spend all your time in salons. You gotta walk and get the money. Share ownership. Have one fifty. Mom, mom, just do something. Do something. I will not stand that. 